I, I'm just curious about what your thoughts are on this, this longtime belief in the power of individual um, capacity to even be able to, to make change in, um, in their ha individual habits. And is it ignoring some of these larger cultural, environmental, and systemic issues, and perhaps even th this longtime belief in the power of individuals making change, has that actually fueled uh, th what we're seeing, which is a, a decline in overall health and well-being? Yeah, well, I think, you know, now we're seeing more than ever the strong connection between mind and body, right? And um, I think when you look and approach work from a behavior change lens, again, you're focusing just on the individual. And that's a great place to start. You need to start there. But you also have to consider the environment that you're operating in. And I think this is you know, mental health, I, said, I think, has been often ignored when you think about um, uh, comprehensive, successful, outcome-based programs. Um, but what you really need to look at is the whole employee experience, um, not just the behavior change, but even the way that you're, the environment that you're creating in order to enable the change and empower the change. Uh, I think that's that, that's the missing ingredient. And I think that that's where we are today. You know, I think that's why the focus on culture change, um, creating, you know, inclusive um, environments where people feel like they belong will lead to better uh, uh, outcomes and, and they go hand in hand. But I think we've 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 not really quite thought about programming in that way. And it's so crucial, especially especially now with ever changing work environments.